not just a partner, it's not just a woman that has played a major, major, major role in this event. Please, let me not mess up your names. <laughs> Would you be kind enough to introduce yourself? My name is Ochuko Momo. Dave Ochuko Momo. That's my name. I'm the CEO of a group of companies and the Nook Apartments is one of our groups, one of our hospitality groups because amongst other things we're into hospitality too. You know, and you wonder why the Nook Apartments and why fashion. If you notice, Nook Apartments is very creative. It's not like the ordinary hotel apartments. I'm sure you've gone around and you've noticed that. Yes, and we decided to go into fashion. Now you ask why fashion? Why fashion? The main reason for why fashion is that we think it's time to bring decency back into fashion. Yes, so that's our theme, decency in fashion. You know, it's time for us to begin to understand that you can be well-dressed and still look very beautiful. So we are very particular about that. And also, sustainability, creativity, and empowerment. We also decided that the young models in Nigeria are not appreciated. So we decided that we could help them, we could help the models, let them know that modeling is not a bad thing, modeling can be a profession, and luckily for us, most of our models are, are, are university already. So that means that they are interested in education. In our first edition last year, we were able to get a male face of the nook and a female face of the nook from the models, and we decided to help them out in their education because funny enough, both of them were in their final years. You understand? So we had people from the crowd who donated cash to them and gave them scholarship up to master's level. For me, that is the best of it all. So we're going to do the same thing again this year. You know, so for us, we are also encouraging the young ones. The fact that you're a model doesn't mean that you do not have to get, you cannot get education or you do not go to school. You can go to school and do all that. You even do it better when you have the good and right education. I feel like falling in love. I'm in the mood to fuck something. Well, since coffee is coffee for Friday bone and I'm up for, for Friday bone. Yeah, we're doing this sister. thing. I'm your sister. <laughs> coffee. Nice. It's an awesome time for you to come all the way, I don't know if you're Nigerian based or Ghana. you came all the way yeah. from Ghana to participate in an event such as this. Yeah. Talk to me, why? How? Um, How did it come about? Okay, so um, Tonya invited me over for the event and I mean, <clears throat> I've been working with him for some time, so once the invitation came, um, I saw it like, you know, very good to be part. So yeah, I think it's going to be an amazing show, so why not? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it's, it's, it's well publicized and it's the second edition. Were you part of the first edition? No, I wasn't. This is actually my first time showing on the show. Oh, okay, so, so what do you have? What, what nice and new, what do you have um, so to our showcase new, tonight? Our new men's collection and um, the fabrics are being made from our woven kinky fabrics. So this is like handmade and it's customized and then all these crystals are Swarovskis. So it's actually, you know, um, on the high note. So yeah, a few, I don't I wouldn't want to show everything. They have okay, to wait but, and but I see, see show, the show. I see a <laughs> they have to wait. No, I want to see a show stop. I will show you. Okay. What, is, what is this? What is he wearing? Yes, yeah, so, so it's also like it? a piece. Come, please come close. That's also like a customized um, Kente fabric. And these, all these fabrics are made, they are handmade. So the fabric wasn't done like that. And then the pearls and has some crystals in there too. Okay, so what, what is your genre? Are you strictly into men's clothing? Or? We do, no, we do female you and do men as well. Yeah. We're showcasing our female designs too. Okay, I, 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 well, this year, I declared this year um, a year for dressing for success. Everything mm -hmm. that we do this year is dressing for success, for mm -hmm. success. Everything is successful yeah, this year. Yeah. And um, okay, what is your speciality and your colors for this year? Um, so as you can see, burgundy and green. Burgundy, very royal, green, very earthy. So yeah, that's what we're doing for this year. Okay, so it's royal versus earth. Yes, please. Very well. And the earth has to respond. And the fact that you've come all the way from Ghana to come responded. here uh, has to yield and respond to you. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you and so much. And it's really nice talking with you. Thank you. Good evening and a warm welcome again. I remain my humble self, Ambassador Mandy. We're here at day three at the Hook International 
Fashion Week end. And unfortunately, it's coming to an end today. Yes. <laughs> How sad. Um, this was one of the very first events that lit up Paul Harcourt, the Garden City, for the first quarter of the year. And we celebrated with every single one of the designers and obviously with the organizers as well. And a big up to every single one of the sponsors and all of the media houses. And a special thank you to One TV, Simunye. Don't go anywhere. Wherever you are, we're watching um, from One TV channels on Limex uh, channels as well, a European channel. You can get it all across the world as we speak. And with me this evening to add flavor to this gracious event. I'm not gonna say her name again because I have a way of goofing up people's names and I don't wanna do that anymore. But it's safer to say that she's the designer. She's the brain behind Jazz Effects, a household name in and around River State. She's been doing remarkably well, has created a lot of employment for local people. She's done a lot of big fashion shows internationally as well. And yes, warm welcome. Please introduce yourself so it will make sense. Uh, I don't want to make nonsense out of her name, but please introduce yourself. All right, my name is Doris Gamdede, and I'm the creative director and CEO of Jazz Effect Designs. Okay, you've been doing this for I don't know how long, 16 and uh, years. 16 years, and you've been doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. Um, for me, the ultimate is the fact that you are doing it for success. You are doing it intentionally uh -huh. and you are doing it out of the love and the passion for design, for fabrics, for textile. Of course. So please, can you tell us a little bit more of where and how you got inspired to become the best designer in Pahakot in Nigeria? <laughs> Actually, I was, I keep saying it, I was born an artist. I started with fine and applied art. That's what I actually started in school. But I noticed that after school, after the university, I found a niche for putting clothes together, like piecing them apart and putting them together. And in no time, my fashion brand was born because people would be like, oh, we love what you have on because we can find it in the market. And I'm like, you can't because this is custom made. So people are like, okay, where can we buy it? I didn't even see the business side of it when it first kicked off until people kept saying, where can we buy? Where can we buy? I was like, I was doing this for fun. But I was like, okay, if people are looking out to buy my pieces, then I should think of starting a business. And voila, Jazz Effect was born. <laughs> wow, yeah. that is awesome. And um, from your own angle, you would say that it's doing very, very well. For me, what really hurts me a lot is that yeah, Jazz Effects is here. There are a lot of other big brands mm -hmm. in and around Nigeria, in and yeah. around Africa for that matter. Yeah. But people have the tendencies and the proclivities of going for brands like... Mm -mm, mm -mm, I know, I know. Mm -mm, mm -mm, and mm -mm, <laughs> you know, so what is, how do you feel about that? Because I feel rotten about it. I feel because I know that you people really work long and hard to be able to produce good products, use the best of fabrics. So what is your take on that? Um, years ago, I will, be, I will be as crushed as you are. But right now, um, if you look at, say, the Grammy red carpet, the Oscars, whatever it is, you'd find one Nigerian designer who styled or dressed one of them, you know, celebrities. So I'll say it's getting accepted. African fashion, African designers are being celebrated all over the world. So I'm not as crushed as you are right now, but five years ago, yes, it was it was something because people were looking at brand names and not the crafts, but now people are paying more attention about the craft. Designers, like obscure designers from remote areas are getting picked up for their fashion, not because of the brand name. And big celebrities are willing to wear those brands and just explore them. So for me, it's been a win for African designers and Africa in, in total. So yeah, we're doing good. <laughs> oh, for sure, definitely doing good. I've seen some really, really outstanding, creative and innovative pieces from day one of the program. And I know that you're gonna wow, 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 wow tonight. Thank you. When it, okay, your, your, what, your selection, your creation yeah. today, what, what's the inspiration? What is your storyline, your storyboard behind this? Yeah, okay, I thought you were never gonna ask that. Or so um, every time, I'm a nature person, you okay. understand? Nature would inspire me. But in my 16 years of um, designing, 
this wasn't nature at all. It was it was something that was man-made. The, a disco ball actually, you know, inspired me. It's weird because coming up with this collection, I was blank for so long. So I was working on, you know, crunch time because I was like, what's happening? Usually once I have a show coming up six months to the time, I get a team. I know what I'm doing. But this time it wasn't happening. So I kept waiting until something just struck me, say, a disco ball. The disco, wow. yeah. You know how when you're in the club, the lights are dim, then the lights come on, they, sh they just keep shimmering different colors. So for me, and there's a spiral, you know, it just goes around your face. It's weird, right? This is the wow. first time I'm going really abstract with my designs, but yeah, so I, I, I tell him the, the disco ball. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, but that's how wow. I got inspired for this. So it's all about the brightness, all about yeah, the, the you're bright see a lot of lights. It's, as you were speaking, I just saw flip and flip yeah, and flip yeah, and flip yeah, and flip yeah. and flip. <laughs> And look, beautiful. Yeah. I know you're gonna do well. Thank you. And I know Thank that you. you're gonna be the one of the home. Yeah. <laughs> we hope so tonight. We All right. So. I'm with a designer from K T T T Triple T, right? K Triple T Wardrobe. And he's here tonight to come and present his beautiful, 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 impressive designs that he's showcasing tonight. Good evening. Good evening, Ma. Good evening. Please, can you tell me what your name is? My name is Kelsey. Kelsey Wokoma. Okay, Kelsey, you're presenting some really nice pieces tonight. Yeah. What is the, what is your passion, and what um, was the inspiration behind this collection? Well, it's, it's simple. I always tell people I like to keep anything I do simple and it makes it unique that way for me. So it's inspired by the fact that I love to do my things simple and I love to always express myself in the simplest of forms I can. So that's just it. I, don't, I, I love complex clothes. I love dynamic. I love the whole drama and all. But then I always love to make my design simple, just like what I'm putting on. It's simple, it's different, it's unique. You don't find it everywhere. And you can wear it everywhere. everywhere. You can. You can put it on everywhere. This can go with a full pant. I decided to play the short because it's a fashion show so I can be free. That's just it. All right. So there's, is there a specific market that you target? Yeah. 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 I love the urban market. I have, I have eyes for the urban market. Yeah. That's streetwear, urban wear, classic and simple wear. That's it. That's KTT for you. All right. Okay. So what should people expect from you tonight? Mm, not the most simplicity in a unique form that's what i'll say okay so you heard that simplicity in a very very unique form that's what you're about to see and that's exactly what you're gonna get and you guys did a fantastic job okay this is done and dusted what should people expect next year each year, we are, this is the second edition. The first edition, we said to ourselves, the Nook International Fashion Weekend to the world. International is the name, international it will answer. Last year, we brought one in, uh, model from us as a country. This year, we brought four. Next year, I tell you, you will see European designers walk this runway. That will be fantastic because most times, you know, we find in the history of time that if, if you say to your parents, Daddy, I want to become a fashion designer, or I want to become a musician, or want to get, they will frown at you. Yeah. But today, it's a multi-million dollar business. It is. It's a multi-million it dollar business. And it is so painful that people would say, let's go for Louis Vuitton, or let's go for Versace, mm -hmm. or let's go for Calvin Klein and stuff. And yet, we have some brilliant designers in Africa. We, do. we, do. we have good textile. We do. Why not embrace your own? Exactly. I've told, uh, you heard me this evening, I said, why can't we, we can have our own Naomi Campbell's here. These girls are good, these boys are good. They just need support. They need people to train them. They need finance. They need to somebody to expose them they need to go to school and that's what one of the major things at the nuke international fashion show is how to do not just have a fashion show but impact lives empower lives you understand 
bring out creativities that are in men and women and then make them make it sustainable make it a sustainable industry make the lives of the people sustainable with everybody's help and you saw how generous the people were tonight i can't wow. thank god enough it is a beautiful time. For me, what stands out is that this is not just a fashion show like all other. The major core here, they have the best interest of the models at heart. Because most times you know that as models, we've been downcasted, yes. we've been insulted, they've categorized us, put us in a box, insulted us. A lot of things have gone wrong and are still going wrong. But the Nook have taken time to invest in these young people. Because at the end of the day, it's one thing to be beautiful and another thing to be beautiful and not have a brain. Exactly. But for them, they've taken our time to say, okay, fine, you are models. Yes, you have a great future. You are the future. And at the end of the day, every single one of them deserve to be skillfully developed for a sustainable livelihood. And that is what Nook brought to the table. So I'm sure that they're encouraging people sponsors and people with like minds to be able to come together let's do this together yes we can and yes, yes we, can. we will yes and we will we can. we can and we will so yes thank you very much for thank talking you. to us if anybody wants to get a hold of you for further sponsorship or for volunteering or for further training where can they get a hold of you we're at 102 Oluwa Basanjo Road, Ranami Aba Estate, or you can call me up 080 Repeat that please. 080